JT style. <laughs> Morning, y'all. Right, I'm back. Hello, welcome back to the coffee house. Right, today's video, we're gonna spend some time. I've got Justin Thomas's swing in my phone. If you watched last week's vlog, you probably realized I spent some time with a lot of fun players. One of them, Justin Thomas. Uh, he's an interesting guy because he's not massive, yet he hits the ball a huge distance. And we're gonna break down his swing, talk about what you can learn from it, where he gets his power from, those kind of things. Right, we had Bryson winning yesterday. He's having a hell of a time at the minute. So he's not automatically in the Ryder Cup, so we will have to be a pick. So that leads us on to today's question. Let's go Ryder Cup picks. But as we're doing Justin Thomas's swing, let's just talk Team USA. Who will be their picks? Post in that comment section down there. Let's hear ya. Oh, back to the coffee machine. I've missed you, coffee. I've missed you. Right, before we take a look at Justin Thomas's swing, let's take a look at his stats. Because what's interesting with Justin, so I've got his stats up here. He's age 25, so he's young and he's fit and he can move. He's only five foot ten. So in the common crop of golfers, he's certainly not the most kind of massive of towering figures like you can get when you stand next to Adam Scott, even Jordan Spieth, massive DJ, those kind of players. He's kind of ordinary size for want of a better word now his driving distance he's averaging here 312 312 yards 0. 0.6 so 312.6 he's 10th in driving distance driving accuracy he's 142nd so he's a good driver of the ball but he's certainly not the most accurate but he's 57 almost 58 percent hitting fairways at 312 that's a bit of a killer weapon if we look at his shots gained he's half a shot off the tee, so he's 28th. Uh, approach shots into green, he's almost a shot on the field, 0.995, so he's third. Around the green, he's 36th at 0.2. His putting is 0.3, so he's 41st. And then that gives him a total of two shots gained on the field, a total of second on shots gained. That's pretty impressive. So he's doing some amazing things and certainly gathering lots of distance from not maybe the biggest frame. So how's he doing that? Let's look a little bit closer at his swing. Before we do that, we need to get a talkie. I've got to pick some stuff up from Dan. Danielson. Hello. How art thou, Danielson? I'm, I'm very good. Well. I know it's been a while. Day, but on camera. Yeah. We'll talk about New York soon. I'm looking forward to the stories. Oh, the pictures, the pictures. Yeah, you got a, everything cranked neck, isn't it? Um, we're talking Justin Thomas today. So we're going to have a little look at his swing. Okay, right. and then we're going to try and explain how what other people can get out of it, and we'll maybe demo it a little bit with some numbers from Quad. Sound like okay. a good idea? Yeah. So your idea of Justin Thomas hits the ball long or short? Long. Yeah, he's a long hitter. Big guy, small guy? S my height, small yeah, guy, medium yeah. Medium or small in the kind of world that he yeah. plays in. He's 5'10", that we did this morning. Yeah. Now, if we look at his swing, so if we look at his swing, what we see is a slight angle, this one, but we see um, everything's really neutral and kind of textbooky. His dad's a PGA pro, did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, so um, winning the PGA for him was all that kind of emotional thing with his uh, dad and what have you, which was great. It's all very textbook, like takeaway and what have you, but as soon as he gets past uh, first parallel we see him really picking his arms up quite high so he gets his arms much higher than say you or I I've got an image here to so see how high his hands are in that image yeah I mean that's left and right he's reaching for the sky where I would say us me and you are certainly more Getting around really, and tucked in a lot of width there isn't it? yeah he is really stretching to try yeah. and gain some momentum um, and also to get your hands up that high, yep, trail shoulder, the right shoulder has to be, you know, really twisted, twisted extended back yeah. back, yeah, or rotated I mean, when back. You, when you watch him swing, he looks like very flexible, doesn't he? Yeah. Like a lot of TPI going on there. Well, that's a good point. I don't know his exact numbers, but I remember talking to TPI about him and his vertical jump, jump those yeah. tests I was doing, he is like athletic right, he, yeah. he can move so yeah. absolutely there's that aspect as well yeah. and then when he comes down into impact we start seeing i mean he is takeoff right foot is one of the earliest pickups of the right foot i think i've ever seen so as soon as he starts to make that shift down 
with the club of the arms to bring him down, his right foot starts to lift up the Crazy right heel. Crazy amount, like, yeah. His right heel huge. is further up in the first few seconds of his downswing than most people get at yeah. impact. Now, if you take him through to impact, what you're going to see as well, look at his, I mean, he's takeoff. He's, un, he's unweighted himself. If you look at pressure in the yeah. ground, I reckon he's got next to no pressure but actually his right, down. So his right his right leg has then roll, almost rolled up and over into his into his left little toe. Yeah. And he's, he's got no weight on that back foot at all, has he? All he's front. Up. I reckon he's at point of jump there. Yeah. And hips, everything's opened up yeah. massively, yeah. Yeah. We Pretty see impressive. fantastic wrist angles on the way down as well. If you take him halfway back there, look. Yeah. So he's really letting that left wrist bow back yeah. behind him on the way down to manage face. Big time, yeah. But I mean, I've seen his driver numbers are very good. He hits up with speed. He gets fantastic launches with his driver. So he's someone who leaves nothing on the table. I'll try and get his numbers maybe in a future video. I mean, he can do any numbers he wants, yeah. obviously, when he's shaping it. Yeah. But I think his standard drive is basically maxing out what he puts in, yeah. if I remember correctly. That's quite a powerful swing, isn't it? It's very flexible. It's, it's very impressive, yeah. So I'm going to try and recreate. Are you going to try and recreate? Could have a couple of sore backs in the morning. <laughs> right, I'm going to hit one. Yeah. Just, just kind of gaming, gaming, hit one. So me trying to hit fairway, la da. So that's two, four, six carry and two, six spin. That's me, pat, pat, trying to hit a fairway. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hit another one now where I try and give it a bit more because there's a bit of room. Uh, I'm still going to try and hit fairway. I still want to hit a target, but I'm like hitting it a bit harder. Sick fold, a bit warmer. You're not a bit off the bottom, so it's spun a bit more. Pretty much hitting target, not very far left yeah. at all. Here you go, that's 253 spinning at 26. If I struck that better, that'll be up near my 260 and my kind of big 262 if I hit my better ball. Yep. Okay, offline on those two. Means so offline, offline on five, those. Both five yards left. Five yards left. Averaging spin, 26. Ball speed, 150 and 147. So I'm now going to reach for the sky and I'm going to jump. Go for it. JT style. What's my club head speed? Uh, your club head speed is 103, so, averaging 102. So it went up two mile an hour between yes. the two feeling of shots, which yeah. is what I'd expect. Now I'm going to reach and jump. So I'm going to stretch and I'm going to try and unweight. I'm literally going to, what I feel, throw myself as hard as I can at this ball. Now he's 25. I'm <laughs> not 25. <laughs> I'm certainly not 25. So my pull back is at the moment saying, uh, excuse me, we don't want to play this game. <laughs> we are not into this. I'm going to stretch. I've done something in my grip as well, which we'll talk about in a second. If you come and look at that, 268. Yeah. Now I'm 156 ball speed. So that's gone up what? Six mile an hour, was it? What was I yeah, quickest yeah, when I got? Yeah, one foot one, yeah. And then I'm 255. And that is not as warm as I could be. And at the age I'm at. So you give me his vertical jump. See where I'm going? Mm -hmm. How far off line was that? Nine yards left. It's nine yards. I'm going to have another go to see. So Steve's done a really good study. And anyone who wants to know more of this, I don't know if he'll let you know if we published it. Steve Buzzer. Mm -hmm. So at Steve Buzzer Golf, I think on Twitter, give him a message. He did a study on this with me, Matt and others on do we lose our ability to hit target when we go at full pelt compared to try and hit target. And as I remember, and I'll maybe ask him, Matt was hopeless trying to hit it one of the ways i think when he tried to hit it hard yeah. he went miles offline for me hitting soft to as hard as i could it didn't make much of a difference so this for me and this is where golf has changed so much over the years people like well tiger really revolutionized this idea i think jt swing and what he's worked out himself is a product of people watching what tiger does this is nothing like I would have been taught to play or even thought golf was about. So to me, this sounds like I'm literally just 
smashing that as hard as possible. And look at that one. Two six nine carry. Yeah. One five five ball speed. Not a rip. Two two spin. Yeah. Um, started point six right. Where did it end? Should I be playing like this? So twenty two yards left. Don't see you going 22 yards left very but often. But think about it. That got me out at 300. Yeah. The big question is that 22 yards left actually matter. On some holes it does, but on plenty of holes. You can get you've away with it. these yeah. courses. I'm threading it towards through bunkers. Yeah. Bunkers set out at 240 to 270 to 280 that I'm having to run through. You know, I've played, I played Torrey Pines recently and there was 280 carries that I can't take on. But if I can carry it 290, I mean, that's carrying 267. I reckon I'll get that over 270. That's before you roll back the X amount of years. X, amount, X can be any like three years or whatever it is in <laughs> age. Before you start putting fitness in that I've never done. He's just worked it out. Maybe much better than us. Because I stand there watching him hit. Yeah. Doesn't hit straighter than you or I. Doesn't particularly strike it any better than you or I. We mm. hit the middle. Yeah. But I see it flying 300 yards when he wants it. And I think, well, I can't do that. I think, um, you know, think about when you were growing up. And I hear it now all the time in the clubhouse. Members saying, oh, he just swings it a bit too hard. You hit that too hard. Yeah. Head came up on that one. Hit that too hard. Swing yeah. it a bit too hard. You know, we had a, I had a lot of that growing up. Whereas... Are we hearing that anymore in the, in the circles of, of, of PGA Tour and things like that? Do you ever hear that on TV? Just hit that a bit hard that time. Well, unfortunately we do, but I, I don't think you hear it in the circles of the cleverer people. Mm. And certainly not any of the coaches that I yeah. respect nowadays. They're not talking about stupid tempo yeah. ideas and ridiculous things like that. They're talking about, look, you know, if you can hit it longer. We yeah. should maybe, maybe we should do a video where we play like this. Yeah. But then the trouble is the PJ Tour isn't playing Torquay Golf Club and Torquay Golf Club breeds war. For us, I just see Torquay as pat, 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 pat into position. There's not many holes out there where I'm going to get an advantage of hitting it 22 yards off line but 300 yards down there. But you take me to Woodbury, championship course in our area. You take me to lots of the courses we film on. You know, you take me to Portugal, Victoria, where they play the Portugal Open, Portuguese Masters. You can blitz it anywhere in places, but you need 300. I'm having to do that to my grip. Oh, you're baseballing now? Why do you think I have to do that? Trying you to feel that you're getting a little bit more clubbed speed? Yeah, well, I, if I interlock like I normally do, that's two fingers not touching the club. I've got a men's small glove. Yeah. So I just want more. When I'm moving at that speed, so I'm increasing my clubbing speed by... So look, I'm getting up to 107s from a pat pat 101. 101. But look how the efficiency drops down on both of those. Yeah, 1.44 yeah, yeah. rather than 1.46. Yeah. This is where you teach me to hit it like that when I start when I'm 12. I don't think my... Personally, I think my efficiency would be where it is now. Mm. I agree with that. Because I would learn to You'd do it learn to way. deal with it, yeah. So I just feel if I go at that speed, my hands, my arms, my wrists aren't strong enough to handle it and I'm going to let go. So I have to like, I need more support. Yeah. Which is where if I grow up at 12 swinging it the JT way, reach and jump, yeah. my body would hopefully develop with me. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, it's right at the bottom. Yes, that's 250. 155 ball speed, so the ball speed out the bottom hit there is good. 3 4 spin, loads of spin, only 250 carry. Yeah. Um, the 108, look. 108 swing speed. 108, yeah. That's your, that's your and quickest. then the smash drops right down. So, one of the things I noticed with Bubba, Bubba's a serial jumper, mm -hmm. he teed his driver up like I've never seen. Literally, I felt like I could have taken the tee out from underneath the ball. Yeah. So when I jump like this, I don't. I feel like I need a higher tee. That's why yeah, I'm catching them all out the bottom. Yeah. You can see where I'm catching them there to the bottom more. I'm not getting it in my normal. Yeah, high position. Part. We should definitely do a playing vlog like this. Because I know for a fact from the people I've started being lucky enough to work with over the years, it's quite interesting. I was thinking about it the other night. Different names coming up on leaderboards, and I've just I've been lucky enough to watch and talk and be close to so many now. And the pattern's just constant. They're just, there's no weak PJ Tour players out there anymore, apart from the very small percent. You can have a go. 
Right, Dan's going for it. I want to reach and a jump though, Dan. Let's make up. sure you're getting some reach. Justin Thomas reach on the back up here. So, I mean, the picture I've got, if you do a practicing from the side here, <laughs> yeah. If you go top of your backswing and stop, the yep. picture I've got is shot from about this angle. Okay. So his hands, both hands yeah, are above his, his head. And his chin gets really into his, that's it, yeah. So he is getting this down and oh, yeah, that he's... up. And then I want you to absolutely jump both feet at it. Come on then. What's your normal club head speed? 104. Yeah. Tully. Target ball though, that's hitting fairway. That right, 107 you're up to there, that's first nice. go. That's my first swing of the yeah. day. Yeah, and that's 265 carry. Not bad for direction. 110 club head speed, 265 again, 154 ball speed. So my highest was 156, so you just get a strike on that. They're both a bit Tully. Oh. Yeah, that's 140 efficient. I mean, you're 110. 110 mile an hour. 110 club head speed is like, you know, what are we going into tour averages? I reckon 113, 114. Yeah, yeah 114, yeah. And they're not built like you. No. You can see why Justin has to work so hard. Yeah. Because obviously there's a strong argument. You give him John Ram's physique. Build, yeah. DJ's physique he wouldn't need to be jumping at it so the tour full of jumpers is the ladies tours lots of jumpers on the ladies tour because they're trying to just squeeze everything out that they can from what they've got to deliver from possibly slightly smaller physiques as a general rule you know justin's got no problem shaping the ball no problem striking it he's confident with his driver yeah he is trying, I've seen pictures of him as a kid swinging on adverts. He swings like he does now, yeah, he's jumping, yeah, jumping at, it. at it. One more, Dan, come on. JT it. Hard work. Reach for the sky and jump, I long imagine, balls. Imagine 18 holes of this. <laughs> well, that's a good point that we, I will come to later in this video. That's such a shame. Why, because it wasn't a good strike? I just, no, I felt like it was better than that. That's a good shot for direction. Yeah. 108s are not your quickest for club head speed. Uh, 153 ball, what was, we didn't get, yeah, 143 efficiency. So you couldn't quite strike it. No. no but give you a more goes and then 258. So you're averaging now 263 and I know you average often normally on our normal tests, 240 to 250. Yeah. Two, that's 20 yards longer. Yeah, that's 50, 10, 15, 20, depending on the day you turn. Mm. Reach for the sky and jump. Jump in. How's your back, Dan? A bit sore, to be honest. <laughs> a bit like my knees when the other day. <laughs> Let's go back and discuss this a bit more, because there's more to this, but it's very clear to see there that Justin's worked it out in a very clever way, hasn't he? Let's get back home. So there is so much more to this. We've got to talk about who this really relates to as well. Because for me, I look at what the guys are doing now, people like Justin Thomas, and I just think there's a wasted opportunity. But if I think for my students, so I mean wasted opportunity for me personally. You know, this is not how we were brought up to play. This is not even how you were meant to swing. But for me as a coach, it excites me just learning from these players, being able to share if I get a young player now who can deliver the club, got levels of consistency, but there's places where they can gain and this is one, these are things we might work with. And even for you at home, the students, the golfers, the everyday golfers trying to get better, trying to hit more fairways, you've got to find your balance between that more distance as well as keeping it on the planet. And maybe an interesting study for you to do next time you play, hit everything flat out, see if you do get anything more out of it. Uh, maybe play two balls, one where you're trying to keep it into play, one where you try and hit it flat out and see which gets you the best scores. You might just find there are certain situations where letting it go, really sending it as far as possible, more open path eyes, can help you at times. What it shows you more than anything else, I think hitting it a long way, it's a skill. It's a bit of a God-given right with some of the physiques of some of the players. 
but it's a skill as well and one that I've done videos on it before the great Lee Cox who works with Joe Miller who's a long driving champion you know we've done videos we did a series with Mercedes Benz where he was part of one where he made it very clear where it is actually a skill that you can improve like fitness like hitting it straight and distance is one of them what there isn't is any secret fix there isn't any secret kind of gift I can give you if you download my videos that that's just all like that <laughs> Uh, it's a skill that you can practice as much as any, which I think is a really interesting point for anyone watching this. Put your comments down below, let me know what you think. I mean, I was gaining seven mile an hour club head speed there. If my body can take that, well, that's where more TPI and going to the gym might be order of the day. But for me, it's something I don't really like. Right, speak to all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below. Remember to thumbs up the videos. As always, if you love the daily vlogs, being back, give us a thumbs up and show me. Speak to you all tomorrow. I wonder if we'll, we might, ugh, we'll see what the weather does. We might play a course vlog tomorrow where we actually cane everything, see how bad we really are. Or how good JT actually is, maybe. <laughs>